Hi, my name is Charlie Gundell. I'm the owner and president of Dial One Windows and Doors in Orange County, California. And today I want to talk to you about bay and bow windows. You know, bay and bow windows are a great way to enlarge the look and feel of any room and actually add extra living room and ventilation and uh, space to any home. They're really great in kitchens, dining rooms, family rooms, living rooms, and even bedrooms. Uh, I want to talk to you specifically about our Renewal by Anderson bay windows. Uh, if you're going to invest in a bay window, there's some things you need to know because a lot of the bay windows on the market today were not really designed with a lot of forethought. Basically a bay window is a, or a bow window is a series of windows which projects outside the home. And when you do that, you have a lot of weight that's hanging outside the exterior wall of the home. And if the proper considerations are not given for how that unit is supported, you're setting yourself up for a recipe for disaster. So the construction of the bay frame is extremely important. Most bay windows on the market today use nothing more than a three-quarter inch thick piece of plywood for the headboard and the seat board. And that's just not adequate. Our Renewal by Anderson bay windows use one and one quarter inch thick furniture grade plywood. Very structurally sound. Uh, in addition to the thickness and the strength, they're beautiful furniture grade. This happens to be birch. We can also build it with oak if you want to stain or paint the inside. A little later I'll show you one of our oak bay windows that's stained up. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's something you'll never really see, but boy, you'll appreciate the difference that this structural quality of this inch and a quarter furniture grade plywood makes. The other thing is how the whole frame is assembled. This is called a mole post. And in a mole post, the way the headboard and the seat board are joined and holds everything together is really, really important. This is a cross section of the seat board of our bay window. Here you can see the inch and a quarter thick furniture grade, in this case oak plywood. These are the mole posts and the side jams. These are made of an engineered material called timber strand. It's very solid, it's very structural. There's actually six inch lag bolts that go up from the bottom and come down from the top to bolt this whole assembly together to make it very strong. Uh, here's an actual section of the timber strand mole post that we use in our windows. So it's going to hold the unit together very strong and very secure. Many of the vinyl windows out there on the market today use a flimsy piece of vinyl. Not very strong, no structural qualities. Uh, it's just there basically as a cover to cover the joint between the two windows. So I think you can see a big difference between something as flimsy and, and uh, inferior as this versus the quality of the timber strand product that we put in our bay windows. In addition to that, on the exterior of the bay, all of our bay windows are clad with a color matched aluminum coil that has a baked on finish to match the windows. This means that there will be no painting or maintenance on the outside of your bay ever. There's no possibility of dry rot. Underneath the aluminum cladding is a Tyvek uh, water shield that eliminates moisture or condensation from ever getting into the wood components of the bay. So you have the structural strength of wood the beauty of wood on the inside can be painted or stained. You have it completely protected by the Tyvek weather shield. And finally, you have the aluminum cladding with a baked on finish on the outside for a truly maintenance free bay window. Now, this particular window happens to be a 45 degree bay window, meaning that the side windows angle out at 45 degrees from the wall. And when you look at bay windows, this is probably the most traditional bay window that you're used to seeing over the years. You can also do a 25 degree bay window and a 35 degree bay window. Just gives you more or less projection. Uh, bay windows can be built in many ways. This particular one is a, what we call a 1 to 1 ratio, meaning that the center window is twice as wide as the side windows. We can change the ratios on that. This particular window is using casement windows on the side, which crank open for ventilation. You can also put a double hung window in there. You can also put all fixed windows in there depending upon the circumstances. Uh, but these windows use the Renewal by Anderson windows which are made of a composite material which is engineered uh, 
wood fiber, polymers and resins joined under heat and pressure. So structurally they're very strong, very sound, never need painting. Come in seven exterior colors. You can get oak, pine or maple options on the inside. Has the nice eggshell finish of a freshly painted wood window with none of the maintenance and drawback. Has our low E4 smart sun glass. This is shown with optional FDL grills, which are real applied grills that simulate the look of a true divided light wood window. Uh, we can change the projection of the inside. This is a birch interior that's all been finished painted, trimmed out with nice molding. This truly makes a handsome, handsome addition to any home and can actually increase your living area. Many times we'll put these in and we'll lower them down to about 20 inches off the floor and customers will make a cushion and will actually sit inside the bay window to make the room a little bit longer. Everybody envisions a bay window, Christmas tree in there at Christmas time and decorating it. Uh, so it's a beautiful product, but if you're going to buy a bay window, you want to make sure that you invest in a quality product. You got to look further than just what meets the eye and the structure and the way this is installed is extremely important. So in the exterior of our bay, there's a lot of things you, that you can uh, take into consideration. One is the amount of the projection. That's the distance from the exterior wall to the outside of the bay. By selecting a 25, a 35, or a 45 degree bay window, we can vary the projection. And by also varying the width of the flanker windows, we can vary the projection. Another option is to do a 90 degree bay window, one that comes out at a 90 degree from the wall. A lot of times we'll build those in place over a kitchen sink, especially if you have an old aluminum garden window and now you've run tile or granite out into it and you know now you want to upgrade the window but what do you do? Well we can come out and remove the old aluminum window and custom build what we call a field built box bay right at your home and make a beautiful window out of something that's pretty ugly and energy efficient. The exterior of all the windows are maintenance free. There's no wood to paint, there's no wood to dry rot, there's no wood for termites to eat. It's completely maintenance free material. And again, we have seven exterior colors that you can select from, from everything from white to a dark bronze and earth tone colors in between. Typically at the top on a window that, ha that butts up to the wall, we build a standing seam roof. This is made of aluminum with a baked on painted finish. It's a very traditional look for a bay window. We can do it in 300 different colors, including a copper color. And if you really want an actual copper roof, we can do real copper that will look like a silk, look shiny like a penny, and then over time will turn brown and eventually we'll get the green patina that so many people like. At the bottom of the bay, when it projects out, we use a corbel. A corbel is a diagonal support that supports the weight of that window as it cantilevers out from the wall of the home. And there's a standard corbel and then we have a decorative corbel. At the top, there's a cable system that ties into the timber strand post it goes back on an angle and actually fastens into the header beam above the opening to hold the window in place structurally. So there's a lot of considerations with a bay window. This bay window here probably weighs 500 to 600 pounds. So you want to make sure that it's built structurally sound, it's installed by people that know what they're doing, and you have no maintenance or headaches over the years that you're going to love your bay window. So here's an example of a bow window. A bay window is three windows at an angle. A bow window is three or more windows. In this case, we have a five section bow window and it kind of forms a gentle radius. Typically, these are at 10 or 15 degree angles. I generally, generally recommend a bay window up to about an eight foot wide width and eight foot or wider, I recommend a bow window because it just, it's more gentle uh, and it really gives you a very nice look. Like the bay window, the exterior is to totally maintenance free. There's no wood to paint, there's no termites or dry rot considerations, completely maintenance free. Uh, this is an example of a coppered colored roof, standing seam roof, which is a very traditional roof at the top. Down the bottom we have our corbels for support. This is an example of our canvas colored bay, 45 degree bay window. Uh, this one features our decorative corbels on the underside which have a little more of a sculpted look and on the top of this we have a terratone colored standing seam roof. In a minute I'll take you to the in inside and I'll show you that the entire inside is all done in oak stained in a beautiful brown mahogany finish. 
As you can see, we're inside a Renewal by Anderson 45 degree bay window. This particular window has our oak interior option. That's inch and a quarter thick oak furniture grade plywood on the headboard and the seat board and the jams and oak on the interior of the casement windows and the fixed window. And then it's been stained a beautiful warm brown mahogany color giving this a rich luster and imagine this being stained to match an existing hardwood floor or the furniture in your room or a particular type of paneling. So that's the flexibility and versatility of this product. You don't have to settle for just white. We have all different types of options. You'll notice the oil rub bronze hardware, the estate hardware. You'll notice that the screen frames blend right in with the window because they also have the oak veneer and they've been stained. So you don't have any unsightly you know, gray or bronze metal frames. Everything blends in, looks harmonious, and gives you a beautiful look. We've got nice three and a half inch Cape Cod oak molding around the perimeter. Really an improvement and enhancement to any home. And with the new Renewal by Anderson Bay window from Dial 1, you're gonna love your new windows. I trust that you found this information that I've shared with you today to be valuable. You may be a little overwhelmed with all the styles, choices, colors, and uh, decisions to make, but don't worry about that. That's our job to help you. We've been doing this for many years. We've helped over 30,000 customers here in Orange County during the past 28 years, and we love helping people. People bring us their problems. They bring us their possibilities. We are the professionals. We help you work through all the choices, and ultimately our goal is to help you arrive at a project that's exactly what you want and exactly at the budget number that you're looking to spend. Uh, and to us, the, the biggest joy is at the end of the job, seeing the smile on the face of our customers when the job's all done, all the expectations are fulfilled, and they love the look of their, their windows or doors or their shutters, and they love the look of their home, and they're so glad and happy that they made this decision. And we sum all that up, that feeling that a customer gets when the job's all done with what we call our red carpet experience, where we really try to make you the star as a customer. We try to put you on the red carpet, and our whole team, whether it's the sales or the production or administration, is focused on giving you our red carpet experience and, and making you happy and, and, and delighted and having this be a great experience. And from that, we get repeat business, we get referrals from our customers, and that's what allow, has allowed us to sustain ourselves and grow over the years. So we look forward to working with you and we thank you for the opportunity.